given this new data suggesting that the consumption of flesh from wild animals causes less inflammation, those who continue to eat meat might benefit from switching to something like venison. But it depends on what kind of ammo you use. The potential for human dietary exposure to lead bullet fragments in venison from rifle-killed deer. Human consumers of wildlife killed with lead ammunition might be exposed to health risks associated with lead ingestion. They uh, took x-rays of 30 eviscerated carcasses of white-tailed deer shot by hunters with the you know, standard lead core copper jacketed bullets under normal hunting conditions. Uh, for those thinking, well, wait a second, can't you just kind of dig out the bullet like you see in all those old westerns? Uh, well, you don't understand modern ammunition. All carcasses showed metal fragments and widespread fragment dispersion. How many fragments? An average of 136. So they went to the store and scanned the resulting meat packages, revealing tiny metal fragments in the ground meat packages from 80% of the deer, and most of those fragments were lead. They conclude that people risk exposure to bioavailable lead from bullet fragments when they eat venison from deer killed with standard you know, lead-based rifle bullets and processed under normal procedures. At risk in the United States are some 10 million hunters, their families, and low-income beneficiaries of venison donations.